Hello everyone and welcome to Cinetations, where we see whether or not a certain cinema holds up to our expectations. So, today, we're recording during the holiday season, so we found... A uh, lovely film by the name of... A Christmas Horror Story. It's a great title, so creative. What do you think? I have seen this title flash across my Netflix several times and it's intriguing but also kind of cringeworthy yeah i was gonna say horrifying if you'll pardon the oh <laughs> horrifying yeah i have seen it a few times here and there myself i don't know if it's just popular right now or if it's that bad that everyone's watching it or well, I mean, those, those, that's the best type of thing when it's well, so suppose. bad everyone watches it it makes me want to watch it like oh, i mean i'm i'm willing to hopefully it lives up uh, you know to that lovely little uh thing. i'm gonna give it a 10 right now you're gonna give it a 10 right now and then <laughs> yeah. slowly decrease as it goes through. no slowly get higher uh, but the, well, i thought we were just doing this at, you know a 10 out of 10 type of thing it depends how good it is so it can it can exceed the ten. Yeah, good. That's impressive. Yeah. Wow. Well, hey, the the starter pictures look pretty nice. So, but I mean, but uh, I'm gonna show you guys the trailer here. See cool. We and we'll we'll see whether or not that actually does what it needs to do. <sighs> so first impressions. Well, it it was a lot better than I thought it was gonna be. Like much better. Yeah, I mean, it didn't look like maybe like the gore effects were on point, but everything else seems to be. Like, it's going to be a pretty good movie. I was really surprised they got uh, William Shatner in it. Yeah. yeah. Got to do it right. Kill Krampus. But I I am down for, like, badass Santa. Yeah, I, I love the aesthetic of the Santa with, like, the braids and things. And, like, he's all tough. Get like, some... Viking Santa Claus. Oh, yeah. He, he's, he's definitely got that Viking touch to him. I, I, I'm, um... I'm going to go beat the hell out of something. <laughs> I, um... What was it? The Abraham Lincoln versus zombies? Oh, God. I, I actually really liked it because... It, it, the concept just sounds stupid. <laughs> no, wait, it was a... No, that that was actually like the, the down, down B-Ray one. It, it was Abraham Lincoln, and then there's uh, Abraham Lincoln versus the vampires. And that one was really good. It, it, I thought it worked really well, just from the stylistic stuff and this and that. But So it's kind of like this, where they're, they're taking something and... I think you can make it work putting make like a badass kind of. See, I think it's interesting that they pit Santa against Krampus. Well, I mean that is anti-Santa. Well, yeah, but if you look back at the mythology, because I have recently oh. just happened to have there you go. learned so we about got some this, stuff to just back. Um, fell down and happened to open to those pages. Based on like actual mythology uh krampus is basically becomes prisoner of santa claus at some point and is like his little sidekick and he's not really allowed to kill people he can just kind of smack rough him them up a little bit for okay. being bad yeah rough him up <laughs> and, uh, beat the shit out of them <laughs> well i mean what would make your child act better Oh, you get this dirty rock, or someone demon's gonna beat the crap out of you. Or it's gonna take you from your bed, drag you out, you know, wrap you in chains, and beat you with twigs. I would be I nice. would rather get coal in my stocking than that. Sure you would, but it's not about what would you rather. It's, <laughs> it's what's, what's gonna make you act nicer. Yeah, what's gonna make you learn a lesson? <laughs> Maybe so I wasn't your, that bad of a child. Tell your children from the, the the lesson right now is to tell your children that Krampus is coming to town. So help forget, me if you don't clean your room. Forget the elf on the shelf. Krampus no. is coming to uh, town. Oh, Krampus is coming to town, and if you don't behave, I, don't I will what, beat you. I can't think of what rhymes with Krampus. Uh, Kr- Krampus on the uh, something is. Uh, uh, just, so, so the, so the name, yeah. so the name, and all of it—it it, it caught your, it caught our attention, definitely. I no. also want to know if all these seemingly different storylines connect or not, because I couldn't tell from the trailer if it was a bunch of different stories. I think it's, I think it's just what? it's all connected because it's Christmas, but they're not directly connected. Well, we'll see whether or not this film holds up to our expectations. Oh, that was so enthusiastic. <laughs> <laughs> Huh? I think it, I said ten. Ten? Easy ten. I'm 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 thinking that the ten is gonna go down. I'm, we'll I'm thinking like three out of five, maybe. That's that's my expectation. Well, we'll see. Oh, okay. can can I give a score? No. Well, why not? What? What's your score? I don't know. <laughs> okay. Well, let's let's go look. Later that same evening. So how about that? Did that meet your cut? That honestly surpassed my expectations of what this movie was going to be like. I have to say the same thing. I, I was expecting, eh, and I got, uh. 
Sol- solid 10 out of 10. Uh, no, not a 10 out of 10. Like, I- I'd give it a 7.8 out of 10. It's got good, you know, it's got decent uh, rewatch capability. Yeah, so, why do you think it did so well? Uh, them twists. Yeah, I think them that's twists. the big thing. And I'm like, I don't, I don't want to sit here and spoil everything for people who still want to watch it. But them the twists. ending, like, that is the point that made it, it, well, I mean, made it good. We're basically going to spoil it every time we have to talk about it. And we already did in our last one. So. Well, you know, we'll, we'll try not to spoil it too much. But uh, the, the This film... one, it was just so worth it to try not. To completely the, spoil the film it. itself, what it does is actually interesting. So it'll start off at one point. So that one point then gets mentioned at the very end. The the fun part about the very end is that the part where you're thinking that oh, Santa and the Krampus are gonna fight. Great, it happens, and, and then, then something it's else not happens. Santa and the Krampus. And you, you fucked it all up. <laughs> you fucked so, it all up. So you, you you mentioned his acting kind of felt forced from it, Santa Claus. Does the ending that you got maybe change that idea a little bit? It, it still seems forced, but it seems forced because it was intentional. Yeah. Because it, this this is... I, even I don't want to give it away. I didn't explicitly give it away. Oh, no, no, no. You no. you just it screwed it no. all up. I, it's not what it appears. That's we'll, all we'll that is. We'll just say when you first saw... One of, one when of you these first saw, things is not like the other. One of these things are things. We'll just say when you first saw Santa, you, you didn't think... Because you thought it was being a little forced. Yeah. But after seeing what it turned out to be, you, you could understand it a little better. Yeah, no, no. I could definitely understand it because uh, if it wasn't for that, I would have still said, like, you know, it's forced. It, it needs more emotion in it. No, after that, um, I think I'm okay. I retract. Yeah. I retract the 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 critique. So there were some CGI elements. I thought felt pretty decent. Yeah, they they weren't bad at all. What do you think? I think they were okay. I mean, they weren't like yeah, it's not, millions of dollars put into them. But yeah, not groundbreaking. But it it was decent enough to get the point across. And it wasn't like the whole film was CGI. No, or no CGI it, dependent. One, one of the greatest things is uh, you you mentioned it. The uh, fire effect was a little bad though. Eh. Eh. I mean, it it didn't ruin anything. No, it really. didn't ruin. It, it, it didn't blend well, but it was you know it was fire. You could tell it was fire. It it, it went around the object, but it wasn't great. Yeah, could maybe like another few days could have been put. It's just to clean things up. Yeah. Um. Oh. One of the one of the CGI things that that's interesting is seeing the uh, the model of uh, Santa's workshop because it based upon how they implemented it, it works. It works, but if you were to take out um, the little bit of like blurring to things, the the environment that it was set in, mm. it would be so out of place. Right. It would, yeah. it, and on a clear day, that thing would not look realistic at all. Oh no. Oh sure, but I appreciated the the stylistic choice instead of you know candy cane pillars. And oh stuff. yeah. Oh yeah. Just, that that was like very... it was mystical castle on the outside, but on the inside, it's like. Okay, we're running a business here. Yeah. I almost wish that instead of doing like the CGI that they had done like a little model that they, you know, zoom around and then zoom in and go into. Yeah, but doing But finding... that that is very labor intensive. It's labor intensive, but I feel like finding people who can do that stands more and more sparse because it's not a, a needed yes. thing anymore. Yeah. To get those models like that isn't a needed thing anymore. Now we look at you know, not to change the topic, but like we look at Space Odyssey and everything was just models. Super changing the topic. Just, just get, get, get out of here. So, acting. Acting overall? It was decent, I think. No, the, the, the acting wasn't... It wasn't stiff. It wasn't. The only th- one that really bothered me was the ghost girl that was in, oh, in yeah. like, the school. She looked kind of fake, and that may have just been like the makeup and stuff on no, her. No, no, it was the makeup. It yeah, really fake. the ghost girl could have been done a little better. Yeah, they, they, they could have put a little bit more effort, you know, like the... Uh, well, I, I'd, I'd mention something else, but, you know, I won't. <laughs> Spoilers! So, just overall, it, no one, uh... Oh, no, th- there was a part with the acting where the main husband... Oh, way too, way too calm to he, have a, he, a he had gash. a giant gash across his gut, and he's just, oh, oh man, no, we, we, we gotta do it. That thing. entire family, that entire storyline, I didn't really care for. No, because, because they were dysfunctional. Yeah, they were so dysfunctional, and we didn't get enough screen time of them to, like, 
form a connection emotionally or anything. No, but I was happy enough when the son did get taken. Because he was a little asshole. Well, yeah. Yeah. He's, he's a little shithead. So, did, did it all make sense? Uh, I mean, this had a lot of story going for it yeah how, how many storylines did it have there were three or four one no, it was the child the oh. baby the family santa and william shatner was he was he really like a story he was him? almost like a narrator though it still had its own section it, 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 that more kinda. melded with uh the santa okay thing. so four main stories four four stories and then and they were all so like nicely Beginning, middle, end, tie it up with a bow and we're done. And I, I, I enjoyed that. Even though you kept flashing back and forth between all of them, which I you don't find... Like. I don't like that just in personal take. But in this situation, it wouldn't have worked to just tell them one yeah. at a time. Because they were all basically happening at the same, same moment. Time, well, see, one, same time. One of the things that I like is that uh, it started off with one story... And it went full circle with that, encompassing the rest of them. So it's yeah. like when you watched them, like it just came to me. It was like the the day and night cycle, mm-hmm. the the continuity between it. Because when we first went in, I just mm-hmm. thought it was gonna be okay, just random stories. Yeah. yeah. But then, then it was all oh, there's they're just happening. I'm like oh wait no, then there's some connection between it all. Mm-hmm. But it wasn't. It was like with a part where it wasn't um, like it's day here, night here. Middle day, like it was just day to night. Going into it, I figured it was going to be something like along the lines of another show that's on Netflix called ABCs of Death, where it's here's the way to die that has to relate to this. Here's the way to die that has to relate to this. I figured it would be something along the lines of that where it wouldn't be connected. But right. I liked how there was like this everything's going on at the same time. Because that was the issue I had with the movie Dunkirk. Mm-hmm. was that it was a good movie, but in switching around to show different perspectives it switched a lot through the day and night. So you're you're following a character mm-hmm. and something's happening, it's the middle of the night. And then you switch back to these other ones and it's like two o'clock in the afternoon. Yeah. It did that until it all caught up with itself. So until it did, I couldn't appreciate it. But then when it all was filling in, I was like, oh, okay, I understand it now. Mm-hmm. So I guess, can you really call character development? That there really wasn't character development in the sense of where we really get to see any change. There's no metamorphosis. Yeah, no, I think the really. stories themselves, because each one, if you like broke them up and put them into their separate own little mini movies, each one probably only encompassed like twenty minutes, right? Yeah, you wouldn't. Have so been, you there's could no probably time. manage to get a, a a really tiny amount of change I mean, to a character. Don't be mean. Appreciate the holidays. Family's important. Yeah. Don't go into haunted nurse nuns places. <laughs> and don't go insane. <laughs> yeah, don't go insane. Yeah. No. Yeah. You can try. <laughs> yeah. You could. Uh, any any big plot developments? Not really plot development other than those twists. There are some good twists. I, I gotta I gotta mention those pretzels. Can't can't <laughs> tell you when or where, but 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 there are they are movie pretzels oh, and you will enjoy them. Delicious. You know, I'll tell I'll tell one. There was when the ghost made a noise, uh-huh. and the guy locked the door or at least closed it. They didn't just run towards the room. Oh yeah, no, that that, that was <laughs> yeah. unexpected because you think every every movie that is horror follows to some degree this like textbook. It's got to be this. This does that. The kids are stupid. They f- they follow the noise and everything else in between. He's like, no, screw this. Pfft. Close the door. Done. Hey, no, no. Ain't going on. Ain't dealing with that. So did it all get tied together? May, uh, perhaps some satisfaction from watching a movie like this? I, you know. Do you feel the Christmas spirit? Maybe not so much the Christmas spirit. <laughs> there is some spirit there. Maybe not Christmas. <laughs> exactly. I, I, I figure, like I said before, you have this, you have a story of which encompasses all of them. It kind of goes around them, puts them right in the center of things, and they're all not necessarily interconnected. Mm-hmm. Two of them are. Two of them are interconnected. But they kind of, like she said, like Lizard Breath said, it was, it's all like wrapped up in a nice little bow. Like little gifts. Yeah. Like little because it's them. Christmas. Because it's Christmas. <laughs> oh, exactly. man. I say 10. 7.8. I, I think like, like 8 out of 10, around about, would be... That's my personal rating. I enjoyed it. I'm not a big one for gore, so that kind of counts me out a little bit. And I'm not a big one for, like, let's switch between all these different stories. Right. So the, that, the that's where was, I say the takeaway is. The gore was pretty, was pretty interesting. 
Especially that one where they zoomed in on a brain. Didn't really look like that much of a brain. No, but... It was a brain. Was you, a brain. You, 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 you knew what it idea. was. Yeah. You got the idea. The mutilation. That was that seemed pretty real. That yeah. seemed believable. No, you know, Santa fighting elf zombies. Uh, yeah. And their special effects, like the makeup-wise, as far as like the cuts on the face and things like that, mm. I feel like that was really good. This this Except for, you know, the ghost. Yeah, <laughs> you know, whoever did the blood was like, okay, I know what I'm doing. And then they're... Then they're like, they're taking a day uh, off while we do the ghost yeah, thing. Yeah, oh, huh? we gotta do the ghost thing. Are they here? No, no, they're gone. No, ah, where's that Where's that intern? <laughs> where's that intern? Can, can, can they do at least this? Finishes. Yeah, yeah I, I guess. Just put guess. her in low light and we'll, we'll fix it in post. Yeah. And then forget to fix it in post. <laughs> <laughs> no, they, they forgot. Someone had to have gotten fired. Someone was like, uh, so so you wanted me to do this right now, but I, I gotta be at a meeting in like five minutes. Do what you can. Absolutely nothing. <laughs> no, nothing. Anyways, hopefully all of you have a fantastic Christmas. This has been Sanitations, where we see whether or not a certain cinema holds up to our expectations. Remember, the, 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 the zombies are coming. The end is nigh. Goodbye. <laughs> <laughs>